Welcome back to the sound for more channel and welcome back to another tutorial on Loopy Pro. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally, if you would like to support what I do, please make sure to check the instruction contained in each video description. Thank you again. So, Loopy Pro, new version, and it contains a lot of features. The one I loved most is the support of MIDI loops or clips. So, let's have a go as an introduction and let's see how we can create a MIDI clip and let's see how we can import a simple MIDI file. Okay, so as you can see, there are differences on the screen already at the bottom. Right here, you have this dotted icon, click on here, and it gives you the ability to create an audio loop and also a MIDI loop now. So after you have created the MIDI loop, you can see a new clip here with dotted uh, lines or circle, which represents, of course, a MIDI clip compared instead a solid line where you have an audio clip. You can do the same, by the way, here with an audio one shot or a MIDI one shot. Okay, let's click edit and let's remove some of these row that we don't need them anymore. Okay, and let's do the same for also these columns so that we are left with just this MIDI clip. Now we swipe up like so and now we have the ability to click on this arrow down for import. And we go and select document packer and then we select a MIDI file which I already prepared. Okay, there it is, a MIDI file preview. Now you can see it tells you also the number of bars, four bars, eight seconds, really good. And you can change, of course, the name here. Let's click import. Okay, perfect. Now we have that MIDI clip here. You can see the notes of the MIDI event represented, okay, inside that clip. Now let's go to the uh, mixer and you can see some differences already here in the mixer. So for example, for the, you can minimize the channel like so, which is really, really good as well. Okay, you can see the input here, which of course you can change. I'm going to remove that for now, as I don't need it. Okay, I can add a MIDI instrument as an AUV3, but, but I can also click here on the plus on the MIDI destination, and then I can search here for an AUV3. So in this case, let's search for Synthmaster and we can choose the AUV3 version. And there it is. Let's click here to open it and double click here on the header of that window to maximize it. We click Synth to see the preset and then we search for a plug sound like so. And we select this one, which is really great. It sounds nice. Let's click on the X here to actually close that window. Now let's click play. And of course we need to activate now the clip. really like that you can see the notes being played is really really good now let's let's um, swipe up with your finger and let's click here and we go inside that MIDI editor we can click this icon here to maximize it and there it is click here to select and then double click to set to center that um, what you have as notes okay that's really great and you have also the ability to draw notes and also to select click here and then click and hold and then you can select all of them you can see options straight away to delete copy cut to quantize and you can decrease the velocity which is great okay and then let's play again So this is just a quick introduction on how to create your first MIDI clip and how to import a MIDI file. As you can see, really straightforward and so much more powerful. And now you have a much more powerful as well sequencer, which I will demonstrate in the upcoming videos. I hope you enjoyed the short tutorial and as always, see you next time. Bye.